Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game on a Schwerpunkt map version 2. I'm using Russia and my opponent's using Russia by the looks of it. So um, I'll get the production tab on, have a look at the initial build orders. This map, Schwerpunkt, we've got a couple of... Uh, uh, we've got an oil derrick close to our starting location each. And then we've got an oil derrick to the far corner each as well. Uh, but there are also these command uh, communication centres and they give you a nice amount of view range just like on Discovery Map. Um, in this, Discovery has this communication centre in the centre of the map for Discovery. Um, whereas this one, it's uh, you get a communication centre on uh, kind of for each half. It's at your main expansion, really, because uh, uh, this is as good as expansion as anywhere. So uh, it kind of protects these two expansion patches. My opponent shot my engineer. My escorts weren't weren't quite good enough, and his engineer made it through. But I have captured my communication centre, so you can see the amount of view range you get from it. Look, it's very nice. My opponent has yet to capture his, but he's got a second engineer by the looks of that. He's got an engineer here, and he can retake. He can capture my communication center now, which is going to give him a nice bit of view range. That's not good. I've got my APC, so I need to get it moving. But my enemy's second engineer is going for the oil derrick in his far corner, plus his own comm center. Now my APC is screening my infantry and scouting seeing the uh, the way he's lot he died the, the enemy's two rocket soldiers killed him but it allowed my troops to punch through now I've destroyed one power plant he's in low power um, and now I need to get rid of this second one quickly yeah the four five or trucks are doing crushes ow that was nice He's about to take his second comm centre. He's got this one over here. And he's got a rocket drop. Look, it's immediately killed an ore truck. And he's got f four rocket troops and a rifleman inside that APC. And they soon destroyed that. So they've interrupted my economy nicely. Now my opponent's still in low power. He's had to sell his barracks. So he's in a, he's in a bad way. My ore trucks are here, and he's moved straight round. Their shots, a couple of missiles hit him straight away. And I'm moving them out of there. I'm not having four rocket troops opening fire. No, I've only got a small amount of infantry, but this is the production here to build up some troops, and these guys will protect this area. I need to stop such a small amount of enemy units doing damage like that. I need to stop them. Because I can't see this, obviously. He's just hanging on out of range. And there you go. It shows you how quickly you can destroy an ore truck. There you go. Now he can back it. Uh, back off now. Pack up the troops and back away. As I respond. And I'm busy messing about. And he's recovering the damage that I did to him earlier. So let's see the economy situation. My money is a terrible situation for cash. I'm in a bad way because of the damage I've taken to my ore trucks. Now it's really starting to tell. Because I'm trying to produce infantry and tanks and structures, but I've got I haven't got the money now. That's that's very bad. And it was from one APC with a few rockets in and a rifleman. That's basically taken back the advantage I had. And then, then some. And he sent another one. That's just great. He can kill that ore truck, no problem. There's no one defending it. I was um, really up against it here. I'm struggling. He's getting his other APC into action now. But I don't think he saw anything there. He, he saw that I hadn't mined any of the ore, so... Yeah. There we go. I caught these guys nicely. So, goodbye. But this one, I've caught another 
one of my ore trucks. Oh dear, and it looks like they've blocked the refinery for now as well. And they're going to get away. But they park nearby, this kind of hit and run tactic. They do tend to park nearby, so always send some units just to follow up. Try and finish them off. The opponent may be busy elsewhere for a minute and give you the chance to catch them up and destroy them. But he's got three more, four more APCs. But if he keeps loading his rocket troops into them, he will have a lower rocket density. So it's an expensive, it's expensive thing sending these rocket troops to the front line like that, because replacing them at this, you know, in his standard forces isn't going to be easy. It'll, uh, but he has got plenty of money. And he's got 16,000 army value, I've got 9,000. So my uh, cash situation is really not doing me any favours. There's the enemy engineer. But, you know, like I say, look, they park nearby. He doesn't know I'm following him, but I don't know he's there. So all I had to do was order them to attack here, and they'd be dead. Now, instead, he's got away, look. His engineer was there, but I think that's got away. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, no, his engineer's crept by, look. Very nice. I've got an expansion there. Um, but this is on move command, so it won't stop an attack and he may he will have seen it though it will have revealed that position to him look so he can come back later but he's run into a base defense and stuff there yeah look he ran into ran into trouble there so he's got one two two apcs full of troops on the go at the moment but i've sent his ore trucks packing for a change and in case they parked close by, I've pursued them, but I've just got attacked by a large force. I got an ore truck, so that was okay. Go on, kill it! If I'd have known and paid attention, I was probably trying to escape. It's a shame I didn't uh, get that ore truck, you know. I could, if I could get one... Go on, fire. No, not quite. Not quite. But I found this this uh, expansion here with the MCV vulnerable, and then when I saw it getting away, I went for this. So that's kept him busy for a little while. There's his engineer. There's an APC. Um, there's an engine here, and here's another APC with rocket troops. But I am creating training defensive units, and I got the ore truck there a lot. So, I've taken some revenge. Let's have a look and see how many... I've got six, he's got five. So, I've taken some revenge against him. And my cash situation appears to be recovering slightly. But rather than overdo it, I fell back. He's been repaired, so that's good. I think a couple of those... Yeah, these are in a bad way. Oh, they're being repaired. But, we have an APC here. He's got no units in it. But these guys have done a little bit of damage. <clears throat> there you go, I've taken care of that grand drop. Let's have a look at the army value. 22 to 21. So I'm in the lead now for army value, that's good. Um, he's caught this expansion. 24 to 22. And I've destroyed that communication centre because he was uh, getting vital intel out of that. I didn't, I couldn't have him spotting my unit movements here and knowing when um, my ore trucks were here and stuff. I didn't want that. I'd rather get rid of it. But we've got a small attack force here. I should be able to deal with that okay. This force here is moving in. I've fallen back just in time. And I can deal with that with a defensive advantage. I just don't want to lose all trucks like that. I wasn't paying attention, I bet. These guys were trying to chase these down. 
these guys were trying to reinforce these because I had no vehicles with them. Well, I've pushed that back, back that attack, but there's two ore trucks lost there. That's not good. These guys in the corner. <clears throat> There's my engineer. Sadly, lost him. But these forces are regrouping. We've got an enemy engineer and some tanks. But he's leaving a tank there. Look, I don't know if it's on purpose, but obviously that can attack somewhere else. And I want to hit this force here. So I use the tanks to hold them and send these guys. But I'm going to squash and run over a few units. There we go. Attempting to. Not great for crushes, but, you know, I destroyed that force. I've got a 30 grand army. He's got a 20 grand army, so I've got the advantage. But these guys... I'm leaving this place vulnerable, so I might lose those ore trucks. And here we go. I've got an attack. I've got four. He's got six. And I've hit him here. Now, with this number of tanks, I know I can push through. I've just got to screen those infantry and crush him. Keep the flame towers from uh, wiping out my infantry. That's the one. Now, hopefully, I can push him into low power by destroying these. His MCV's escaping. And he's basically focus on focusing on destroying my eco. Look, you see this? He's waiting for these ore trucks to come along and shoot and, and destroying them. Uh, and I've got these guys here. I should have split this force and gone this way to wipe this out. And these guys back away. Attack over here. Or go over here just to... That's enough there to take this. Uh, but I need vehicles with them. He needs repairs. But I'm uh, here and I wanted to crush some infantry with my tanks. But I think my mistake was not having enough infantry backing the tanks up. So I'm trying to get out of there, salvage something. But now my army value is 10,000. So I've made... By over committing here, I've lost too much. And this force... I'm just not seeming, uh, not being able to push and wipe out this group here. Now you see, I'm trying to give my units view range with my tank, and you know it's just not having it. Not good at all. So this field is still out of my control, and any ore trucks will be destroyed. And this single tank got rid of that one at least. But I moved this force round, these guys are doing okay. His MCV has to escape. Knock out the power is usually a favourite of mine, a favourite target, because they're easy to destroy quick. Now moving through, see if I can destroy any targets and escape. Now there's a heavy tank chasing my old trucks. The engineer. Look, he captured my service depot. That means no more heavy tanks. And he's capturing this, but I had to sell that and shoot that guy because I'm not having him getting a barracks in my base and building more engineers and stuff. I'm just not having it. Um, so now I'm at a six grand army value and my opponent's at a 24 grand army value. I've lost this force, this eco raid, because of distraction. And now the game has turned and I'm the one who's crippled. So my opponent did really well to survive that, but my mistake was not utilising my uh, large army when it had the advantage. And when I had this force here, and I'd overrun this position, what I should have done was split it in two and attacked here and here. And left this force out of the battle, because he focused on all of his strength here. And that's where I ran headlong into on purpose, thinking I wanted to push it and force an, force an outcome. Whereas I went too far, and it turned the tables. So there you go, now I've got to deal with a base push. My uh, ore trucks have been destroyed down to two. And I'm still here, look, mining off this and having them destroyed as I go. So uh, I finally got tech, but, you know, it's no use at this point. I've got uh, thieves and stuff, but they would have just died. 
for very little value, I'm sure. I did train one. Oh, there he is, look. <laughs> you know, he's, what's it gonna do? And I've got these guys um, actually scouting for him. So my enemy's got eight grand, that's nice. So I am getting an infiltration by the looks of it. That's something. There we go. That's got four grand each now. But yeah, I've lost this expansion. My ore trucks have got nowhere to drop the resources off. And now I've got tech units producing. They're, they're of no use because there's no units to screen them, etc. So it all just turned against me quickly all of a sudden when I forced and overcommitted, forced the uh, engagement here and overcommitted. That was where I messed it up. When I watched this back, it was clear I should have split my force in two, and it was still enough to overwhelm any force he had in the field. It would have easily been enough, even split in two, because I had plenty of tanks. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a shame um, how I let that turn against me all of a sudden. But uh, as the army graph, look at that. That's the point where I had it. I'd won the game. I'd done my best because he was really harassing me with those APCs. He did really well. It's an effective example of how to really annoy and harass your enemy. It really worked. But there I had the advantage. I hung on and fought. But when I you know, overcommitted here. That's the plain and simple moment that did it. And I should have split my army in two, attacked here and attacked here. And then that would have been the end of it pretty much, you know. I know he would have had a, a small force left, not small, but he would have had a force left, but it wouldn't have been enough to stop me when I had a larger force and map control and destroyed his eco. That's what I should have done. Oh, it's a shame. But there, you can see, that was my moment. And I'm going to have to stop stop like ruining my uh, chances and my moments when I earn them. I'm going to have to stop stop doing that. But here's the earnings graph. My opponent was in, having some problems. But, yeah, it was about, you know, where it started to go against me. Um, you know, about just over two-thirds of the way through, it started to turn against me. My opponent's finishing army. Nine tanks. It's got an all right army. Combat chart. My opponent killed 298 units, I killed 243, so not bad. We both lost 24 buildings. That's very nice. 24 buildings each. So I've obviously destroyed my fair share. You know, support powers, none as yet. I didn't build an airfield. Uh, my opponent's production tab, economy tab... I earned 95,000, my opponent earned 134,000, so he earned a lot more than me. That's interesting. Basics and my actions per minute, 27.6, my opponent's at 50 actions per minute, so his arm is every 1.1 seconds he's giving an order. So yeah, he's, um, he's working at a decent pace. But there's the basics and all the charts and graphs, so I hope you enjoyed the game. I did. It was a fun battle. It was just a shame, like one or two others recently, I couldn't quite finish it off. But, um, you know, I learned from it, and it was a fun game. So I hope everyone watching enjoyed it as well. And until next time, take good care of yourselves, and for now, goodbye. Battle control terminated.